you know. It's the one thing that either stupefies me or pisses me off, or either pisses me off and stupefies me, is that, you know, is life imitating art or is art imitating life? Specifically about photography. Um, I'm about 100% certain that 90% of the people that watch any YouTube photography stuff are completely unaware. Now, you're into photography because you like it or you got it as a business. And, you know, I, I don't know what people think the money in photography is. It's really tight. And, um, but it's only tight in the stuff that people are attracted to doing. Um, I know photographers up in New York, and I mean, I knew this without them telling me. They said, hey, people with really good photography skills are giving away fashion and portrait photography left and right just to shove their name in somewhere. I mean, they're busting their ass for free. It's like, you know, that's, that sounds like a great way to pay the bills. I don't know if you know this or not, but let's be brutally honest. And I've had, when I made a video like this about a year ago, I had two famous YouTube photographers. Uh, one of them texted me, the other one emailed me, and they said, Ah, man, someone finally said it. You know, this is so true. One of them uh, does uh, real estate photography. There is an enormous amount of money in photography that is just untapped because... Now, if you just do photography as a, a part-time thing to, you know, calm your nerves or to enjoy yourself, I mean, fine. If you're in it to make money and you're, you know, you're trying to establish yourself by, uh, you know, taking uh, Sally Hot Pants out and taking pictures, there's absolutely no money in that at all. There's like a dozen people, not literally, of course, there's like a dozen people worldwide that are doing good with that kind of photography. Wedding photography sucks. I haven't done a wedding in five years. See there, I just admitted it. I did do a shoot uh, last week for a business. I got paid, and this is kind of pitiful, I guess, but it only took me 15 minutes, but I got paid $100 to take two pictures for this business, this retail business, so they could stick it on their website. It took me like in my underwear in the middle of the night, edit the pictures, send it off to them, made 100 bucks. It took me 15, $100 for 15 minutes of work, I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty good. And, well, I mean, another 20 minutes editing the pictures. There is an enormous amount of money in photography. And it's completely untapped because everybody out there thinks that it's about taking pictures of your cute dogs or, you know, even sideline sports photography. You know, photojournalism? Do you know how much less photojournalists are making now than they were back in the day? I mean, my God. My God. There is an enormous amount of money, however, in real estate photography, product photography, corporate photography, event photography, and business photography. What the hell is business photography means? It means having a good perspective control lens, for example, doing some great indoor-outdoor shots so they can use that in their pamphlets, their brochures, their website, and distribution to other people, also to post on Google to show what their business looks like. I mean, that stuff is easy money. They don't complain. You want to talk... Everybody, even people that hate me on YouTube, okay? And there's plenty of them. They hate wedding photography. I've talked to more than a few of them. You know, they still do wedding photography. They all tell me outright, and they don't have to tell me. I know it's a... Wedding photography sucks. It sucks. Bridezillas are, are horrible. There's too many of them. It's stressful. I don't like the way this is printed. You know, could you do a little? It's like, I've already did it. I, I don't know. I'm not going to pay you until you redo it. It's like, are you kidding me? You should have told me this before. Horrible. Horrible. You don't really get this stuff from business photography, product, real estate, corporate, and event photography. Let me repeat those things. This is where a lot of money in photography exists, and it's basically completely untapped. Not completely, but mostly untapped because it is so boring. Product photography, corporate photography, event photography, um, uh, business photography. Didn't I hit all of them there? Product, corporate, event, business. Yep. Real estate. Excuse me, I left out real estate. Real estate, corporate, product, event. Um, 
He's, they, these people don't complain. They also have a budget. It's a tax write-off. You know, they're not... It's like, hey, you did the work. Good. Looks good. Um, how many jobs did I do last month? I did two jobs last month. I guess that doesn't account for much. Does that make me a working photographer? How many jobs does it take to be a working photographer? Does it have to be like a certain percentage of your income? Who gives a damn? I'm busy writing and translating. I'm working on a lecture that I have to give in Idaho. I'm busy answering emails. Why? You know, I know that stuff is fascinating, but I mean, there's no money in that. Oh, I'm going to take a picture of Sally Hot Pants and uh, uh, Holly Hotness and uh, uh, Candy Loveless, Candy Lovelace. I'm sure there's probably somebody out there named Candy Lovelace. <laughs> Did people not realize that that's not re reality? I know people don't want reality. That's because, you know, you all are watching Star Wars and Star Trek and all this fake crap on TV and... You know, you want that fantasy, don't you? Just, well, let's be honest. You want a fantasy. Everybody wants that fantasy, but that's not the reality, and that's not what pays the bills. It's like people that join the Navy or the Army, and like uh, Army recruiters, of course, I'm not against the Armed Forces, but they're really good at lying to you about what you're going to do. They're like, Air Force! And then you see some guy flying a fighter jet. <laughs> Like if you join the <laughs> if you join the Air Force, that's not what you're going to be doing. You're going to be scrub scrubbing the captain's crapper. You're going to be swabbing the poop deck. Maybe you could like elevate yourself up to uh, one of the people that does this with those illuminated sticks on the f on the flight deck. And you know you got to wear the big earmuffs because the jet engines will pop your eardrums. And your, your job is to stick on headgear and uh, hold two, like, red glowing sticks for the airplanes. Like, going, yeah. It's like, is that what you joined the Air Force to do? <laughs> There's a lot of people on YouTube feeding you crap. And uh, it's a fantasy that we would all like to uh, engage in. It's like, yeah, man, I'm going to get me a camera and a speed light. I'm going to take pictures of hot naked chicks or like chicks in bikini. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna to start a business doing macro photography of the wax crotches of Swedish supermodels. <laughs> no. That's fantasy. You want to know what else is fantasy? Is all the chicks in those magazines that are airbrushed. Yeah, oh, she's got a tattoo right there. It looks a little skanky. We're going to remove that skanky tattoo. Of course, they don't airbrush them anymore. They just Photoshop them. Back in the day, they would airbrush them. Today, obviously, they just Photoshop them. Same thing. Digital airbrush versus real airbrush. There's two types, well, there's several types of photography. Um, one big part is uh, fantasy, of which there's almost no money. Then there's reality, which is, like, totally untapped. There's, like, you, if you wanted to, like, say, hey, I just need the money, you know? It, when I, it's the weekend, I want to take my camera and go out and take pictures of Spot and the birds and stuff and have fun. That's on my own time, but... When I want to make money and pay the bills, I'm going to be doing event, product, corporate, real estate, event photography. Totally boring, unglamorous crap. Wedding photography. Everybody that does wedding photography for a while and gets burned out on it, and they don't want to do it anymore because wedding photography sucks. There are, however, like a dozen people that are like so famous in wedding photography that it's just like they'll ask $40,000 for a wedding and whatever they give you. You, you're going to be happy with because, oh my God, so-and-so famous photographer did our wedding. You know, he just shot it or she shot it. and That's like a dozen wedding photographers. Everybody else hates wedding, hates doing uh, wedding photography because it sucks. You know, when are people going to wake up and, uh, you know, smell the reality? People don't want to wake up. Life is uh, shitty and short, and they want a fantasy. Yeah, I'm gonna get me a camera, speed light, I'm gonna take pictures of, of, uh, of, uh, 
what's what's a good uh, what's a good pole dancer's name? Uh, Holly Hotness. Um, uh, <laughs> insert pole dancer's name. That's not real photography. It is real for like a dozen people, but it's not reality. That's not where the money. Why would you want to stick yourself into a market to try to make money where competition is insanely stiff? No pun intended. <laughs> Why don't you, you know, if you want to start taking pictures of businesses for their websites or product photography, you'd end up with so much business. It would be boring and mundane, but no one would be, be pissing at you or complaining. Just the money would be pouring in. There's a lot of jobs out there, and uh, nobody goes after it because it's not glamorous. Any city, by the way, here's an example. Any city of decent size, if you have even mediocre photography skills, you could apply to the city state government and get yourself a job. Uh, taking a photo. I almost got a job once as a crime scene photographer and I turned it down and then they also changed the rules where crime scene photographers had to be uh, actual Leos or law enforcement officers. There is a lot of uh, city jobs out there where they're looking for skilled photographers but nobody really applies because photographers all think that stuff is, well, it is mundane but um, there's a lot of money in photography. People think there is, and it's like, everybody's got a camera now, there's no money. No, there's just no money in doing all the stuff that people want to do. Pictures of the hot chicks. There's, the world is saturated with 10 billion pictures of hot chicks doing anything and everything. And you're not going to make any money doing it unless you find something really special. No. If you're into photography for the money, screw weddings and screw pursuing the hot chicks. There's no money in that stuff. Well, there is money in wedding photography, but it's so stressful you wish you'd never started it to begin with. Everybody that's been into wedding photography is trying to get out of it. And you know how they try to get out of it? Everybody that starts selling workshops is someone that is sick and fed up and tired of doing wedding photography. <laughs> It's like, so-and-so selling uh, workshops, like, did he used to be a wedding photographer? It's like, yeah, how did you know? <laughs> it's because I know. <laughs> Goodbye.